Hi there, curious minds. In this session, we will delve deeper into the subject of geography and the topic of the cryosphere. Let's get learning. The cryosphere, a term you may not have heard often, refers to all forms of water on Earth that are in a frozen state. This means it includes everything from the colossal ice sheets that blanket Greenland and Antarctica, to the more humble ice cubes in your summer lemonade. You see, the cryosphere is not uniform in its composition. Its components vary greatly in size, from minuscule ice crystals in the atmosphere, to glaciers stretching hundreds of kilometers. It encompasses snow, permafrost, sea ice, lake ice, river ice, and even the frost on the ground. Every snowflake that falls, every ice-covered lake, every frost-kissed window, they are all tiny parts of this vast frozen expanse we call the cryosphere. Estimating the exact size of the cryosphere can be as tricky as nailing jelly to a tree. This is because it fluctuates considerably depending on the season and climate conditions. Think of it like your winter wardrobe. Just as you have more layers on during the chillier months and less when it warms up, the cryosphere expands and contracts in response to changing temperatures. Remarkably, about 70% of the Earth's freshwater is locked away in the cryosphere. Now, before you imagine an iceberg in your drinking glass, remember, this doesn't include frozen ground or sea ice which are salty. Let's ponder a moment over why the cryosphere is so crucial, especially in terms of climate regulation. It all boils down to something called the albedo effect. This refers to the ability of a surface to reflect sunlight. Snow and ice, with their bright, shiny surfaces, have a high albedo, meaning they reflect a lot of the sun's rays back into space, helping to cool our planet. However, here's the twist. Climate change could drastically alter our cryosphere. Increasing global temperatures can cause more ice to melt, which in turn lowers the albedo effect. Less ice means less sunlight is reflected back, and more is absorbed by the Earth, leading to further warming. This presents a perilous feedback loop that could greatly affect us and many other species on Earth. That wraps up our session. Remember, each day brings new learning opportunities. Until next time, stay curious.